Hi, well, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenya has been playing a very critical role when it comes to mediation in um, uh, East Africa region. They have been playing a very pivot role to bring peace among these countries. But now we have Willa Bruto as the President of the Republic of Kenya. And seemingly, all those gains that Kenya had made is being put to a question immediately Ruto occupied office. And with the latest emerging information, it is clear that the international community cannot believe William Ruto, they can't trust him, and because of that, Ruto, just in his first appointment, he has met rejection. Ruto has been appointed to, to chair the IGAD committee that is um, uh, working on a, a peacekeeping mission in Sudan. And that was a kind of a replacement of uh, the Sudan pre South Sudan president, eh? Salva Kiir, who, who has been eh, the chair. So objection is there, they are saying no, Ruto should not be the person to take over this role. It's better we have Salva Kiir. So imagine we have William Ruto here and we have Salva Kiir here. The push is that instead of having William Ruto, we better, they better continue to have Salva Kiir chairing that uh, EGAD committee. Look at that. How about Mefika? And let me just go through it before we go deeper because we want to understand why is Ruto being rejected. This is the breaking news. And this is in a standard eh, digital. Eh? Sudan reject Kenyan chair chairmanship of the EGAD committee tasked to resolve the conflict claim, eh, resolve conflict. Eh? Claims Kenya is aiding the rapid support force. In another news, uh, Sudan's post, Al Albu Albuhan reject Ruto as head of Igad mediation, says Kir is right person. The Sudan government has opposed the replacement of President Salva Kir Mayad as head of intergovernmental authority on development IGAD mediation team on the Sudan conflict. Remember we have South Sudan and we have Sudan. So we are talking about Sudan. The person who has been caring is the South Sudan president Salva Kiir. Then they were replacing him with William Ruto. Sudan of Anasema, no. Better Salva Kiir, but not one William Sabayu. And this is the reaction from Sudan government after William Ruto's appointment to replace Salva Kiir. Eh? Sudan expressed its disagreement and objection to a number of paragraphs that were mentioned in the draft final, uh, final statement of the summit due to the fact that they were not discussed and agreed upon. And the delegation called on the IGAD Secretariat to delete them. These paragraphs relate to changing the presidency of the IGAD committee as the delegation demand that the chairman be retained as Salva Kiir Mayad to chair the committee and uh, demand the deletion deli of any reference to the subject of mediation. That is their position. Ruto rejected simple. When I say they better have Salva Kiir, but not him. <laughs> William Ruto. While I want to pay William Ruto as the president, you can check on this. When it, it comes to diplomacy, Ruto cannot be trusted. And uh, some of the reasons is that Ruto actually lack the skills, uh, the mediation skills, both at home and uh, abroad. That's the truth. Because if Ruto was a clever president, who was very wise, Ruto would have found for a way to resolve the conflict between him and the Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. You cannot become a president, then you continue the conflict between you and a man who handed over office to you peacefully. He went home peacefully, 
Then you bring him back into this politics. Ruto refused to silence even Gatha Gashagwa from attacking Uhuru Kenyatta. Instead, when Gashagwa organized for the invasion of Uhuru Kenyatta's family property, Ruto is sitting pretty and uh, watching. So how can the international community trust such a person? They can never trust him. They would see his interest in the issue here, but not the interest of solving the problem there. That is the truth. Another truth could be, to some extent, there is a general feeling and perception in Sudan that uh, U.S. is siding with the RSF, that is Rapid Support Force, which is also fighting in, in Sudan. And to some extent, the U.S. is helping these people through Kenya. So they are getting some aid through Kenya. Because of that, there is that conflict there. So they feel that William Ruto cannot be that person because already through Kenya, some other groups here that is fighting the, uh, in, in Sudan is already being helped. Another thing is the issue of Lindo Nyoro, who is a close ally of William Samuel Ruto. To some extent, Lindo Nyoro was seen somewhere in photo with the, the RSF uh, leader, that is Mohammed Hamdan Dogola. Eh? Is it Dogola or Dogolo? Something like that one. I don't know if I'm butchering that name. And uh, there's a platform that featured uh, on that appearance of Lindy Nyoro with the, that RSF leader. This one is South Sudan Republic Party RSSFP. This is what they said. Eh? Just in, President Ruto's close ally raises eyebrows after posting photo of Sudan's rebel leader. President William Ruto's close ally and eh? Kiharu, member of parliament in Nyoro, has raised eyebrows after posting the photo of rebel leader fighting the government force in his tweet handle. Nini Nyoro, who is close, considered a very close confidant of President William Ruto, post the photo of Sudan's RSF commander Mohammed Hamad Dagalo, popularly known as Hemedit, in his tweet account with the caption, We are Africa and Africa is our business. Remember, this post was done on April 23. Journalist Mangi Maina has pointed out that this is the, a very interesting move, especially that it is coming from someone so close to the head of state. President William Ruto has been very vocal in uh, the Sudan conflict and he is among the three head of state that were earlier appointed by the IGAD to seek for truth between the warning parties in Sudan conflict that has left many dead. Earlier statement from the state house had been offered that Kenya was ready to host the Sudan army commander and the RSF commander to chat way to chat for a peaceful Sudan. So you see, they want to mediate but already in one side they are being seen by one of the individual who is in conflict with the other. Because of that, I think this is one of the reasons. But then, I have been reading comments from Kenyans. Because Kenyans are also weighing on this issue. Once your president is being rejected, it means there's something there. So again, the country is being viewed in that way. And I want to use the remaining time to read the comments. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please, please consider subscribing. To our status brothers and sisters, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Now, these are reviews from Kenyans. Gatuku, he should reserve his populist declaration for his Tugege audience. The international community is way too serious an audience. William, this is what he's saying, mediation requires a sober person that op approach issues with open mind not open mouth <laughs> the guy is so dismissive and uh, dominating the mediate the um, to mediate on any issue 
It is very shameful that Kenya is being rejected as peace mediator while for years that has been our premium tag. Indeed, choice has consequences. True. Jimmy, he should stick to what he does best, combing together local politics, formation, and uh, preaching lies to the gullible. International matters doesn't have Akina, Aisha Duma, or Ondin Nyoro to keep clapping for him. Achien, international community knows better. Let him play local politics. Only I miss Uhuru, our, our Prince of Peace, very exceptional and uh, outstanding when it comes to peace and conflict diplomacy. Kind of Uni Mose Joker. Kind of he doesn't listen at Kupayuka Venya Ana Payuka during those conferences. Seems like his way or highway. True. Wana sema pakila wakat. Isaac Mwaniki. Sudan is correct. How can one who spent four years insulting his boss, radicalizing MPs to rebel against their party leader, become diplomat to resolve conflict in another country? Impossible. And lastly, uh, Peter Ghetto. And the way we have been sponsoring him with the millions of dollars to go to <coughs> to global uh, trot building his CV. I wonder what happened to stand ovation we had he had been getting. Wengine hapa Ruto and lies rhythm. Wengine hapa Ruto think by acting superior in conference and then talking in Hawley is the solution. Lastly, Ruto and peace cannot be in one sentence. Thank you. See you in our next video.